Hello, welcome to Caffeinated Crafting. It is Daniella, known as Caffeinated Gird Around the Interwebs. Um, here to wish you a quick little happy Easter and show you what I made this week. It's gonna be really quick because I made two things, finished them already, didn't work on anything else. And yeah, that's all I did this week. Although, I did tidy up this room this week. So you can notice that I'm sitting at a different position. I'm actually like flipped around like 180 degrees. So instead of facing the windows, they're behind me this weekend, which will not be a standard because I know that that makes the lighting a bit wonky. But um, I have company coming over to have a little birthday party in a little while. And so I needed the table out so I could have people sit around it to eat. <laughs> Um, so, first thing I made this week is uh, my April gnome. I used, <coughs> sorry, I used the Never Not Gnoming, is that right? Never Not Gnoming? Yeah, Never Not Gnoming pattern from Sarah Shira, who is um, Imagined um, Landscapes, as per usual for my gnomey um, designer. This is the Norbert size which is the biggest one in that pattern. There are multiple sizes in that pattern. So if you're interested in knitting a gnome, that is the pattern to go with for your first one because you can make small all the way to large and they're very basic gnomes. Um, I added a scarf to this one instead of a beard because I felt like it was a girl and I prefer the girls not to have beards, but that's just me. Um, I'm going to sneak this one onto my mom's bookshelf tomorrow when I visit her to see if she, how long it takes her to find it. <laughs> Probably fairly fast. She's very, she's very, um, I don't know. She notices things very fast, usually, usually but we'll see. So um, this little gnome is knit out of hand spun and I striped the hand spun. It's interesting though because up here the stripes are very defined but then as the color changes in the hand spun, it's less defined here. And then down here, again, it's less defined, but then more defined towards the bottom. But I thought that was a cool little effect. I did use some other hand spun and I just crocheted a quick scarf. I cast on, I don't know, enough to, I, I just eyeballed it enough that if I um, tied it, it would fit around and look like a scarf. Then I did half double crochets back makes it curl a little bit which I kind of like and it was a really super quick scarf. Um, one of the patterns from Sarah Shira um, it does have a scarf so if you wanted to knit a scarf instead of um, crochet one um, it's the let's see which pattern is it um, it's the one with the three it's the oh gnome you didn't so the oh gnome you didn't gnome by Imagine Landscapes has a scarf, which is where I got the idea. But this one is all springy. My April gnome is all ready to go to my mom's tomorrow. The other thing I made this week, and I just finished it, is this bunny. Um, I knit him, I crocheted him, I did not knit him. I crocheted him out of hand spun. Um, this hand, this hand spun was from uh, Hobbledy Hoy that I spun like a long time ago. It was Hobbledy Hoy fiber. This one was a loops fiber that I've spun, I don't even remember how long ago. Um, and this is the pattern that is the tiny Am Amigurumi Baron bunny, which is the same as the bunny I made a few weeks ago. But I did the torso correctly this time, go me. And I did not make the muzzle. I used a pink safety nose instead and gave it whiskers. And I think that's way cuter. Um, though here, and here's his little tail. This is all from the same hand spun. I used a different portion where it was lighter. Um, so he would have a nice big fluffy tail. And Tiger, of course, has to come say hi now because I'm talking to someone. He's been sleeping all day. He's getting all rested up so he can have company later and be all over the company. Right? Do you want you want to come up here and say hi? Because we are basically done. That was like the shortest little podcast update ever. Come on. Come on. 
So here's your a tiger belly for entertainment purposes, since that's all I have to say, really. Um, I have some cool new plants. I was super excited. Do, you, do any of you guys garden? Do you do house plants? Tell me what kind of house plants you like if you house do if you do that. So I had a lot of plants out here before. Well, not a lot, but some big some big plants, and I kind of got rid of them because um, this one kept trying to eat them. So now they're up where he can't get to them. So you can see kind of here. Look, there's some plants up there in the window, and then I have a shelf over here. Um, that have some gr that's not in the window, but it's like um, by the window. But I do have some grow lights on it just in case because in that shelf I have um, some succulent um, clippings that I got and I have them to propagate. So I have propagations going over there and I also have some a uh, couple of cactus I need to put in a pot and a Hoya can't remember what it's called but it's a super cool curly little thing um, I need to put it in a pot I just got it so um, I'm letting it acclimate I guess until it's ready um, I'm just super interested if you guys are into house plants and what kind do you have what what do you like um, so I guess uh, that's me and tiger signing off on the shortest little blurb ever. I can't believe it's like not even seven minutes. But um, you guys enjoy your Easter tomorrow. And I'm going to celebrate my birthday for Easter tomorrow. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.